back with Bobby and JJ Radio. If you're just tuning in, we're talking all about information protection and identity theft. We just finished speaking with David Schaefer and Brian Trends about the legal side of identity theft. If you miss any of that info, don't worry. We upload audio files of the show every Monday on SoundCloud. Next up, we're going to speak with Jeff Rich. Now, Jeff is originally from Massachusetts. He's been involved with information security for over 30 years. I just found out he did radio 40 years ago as well, so he's had multiple past lives. In 2006, he was granted a foundation certificate in IT service management. So welcome, Jeff. Thanks for being on the show with us. Thank you very much. It's a great to be here. I know. Isn't so can, it, though? Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> can you tell us, uh, what is cybersecurity? Well, cybersecurity is, is a term that's not easy to define. That term really came a lot from the military and the government. Mm-hmm. And I, we like to say that we don't necessarily do cybersecurity because if I talk to a client or, or a prospect and I say, well, we're going to provide cybersecurity, the first question I get back is, what does that mean? And what does that mean? Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm here to say, rather than have me define what cybersecurity mm-hmm. is, we focus a whole lot on operations security and information protection. Because those are, you can understand that. If you have a website or you're in the cloud or you have a database, you want to worry about protecting your information, mm-hmm. not worry about protecting your information, better put. And how you operate it, you want to make sure it's done in a secure manner so that it's not likely to be compromised or have an intrusion. How are these, like I've been noticing like a lot in, in Hollywood where they're taking all the, their pictures and their dirty pictures from the cloud. How could they protect themselves? What did they do wrong? What could you have done for them? So there's a couple things. So I'll start at step one. If you don't want nude pictures of yourself on the internet, don't take nude pictures I'm of yourself. Just, okay. <laughs> but, but beyond that, and, and by the way, there is, you know, the best thing you can do for information security is really think about common sense. Mm-hmm. And, and there's one of those foundations. But more importantly, if you're going to put it on an iPhone and up into the cloud, mm-hmm. for instance, which is what happened in many of those cases, you have to think about what does that mean? What protections, if any, am I assured when it's up there? And if you don't know what the protections are, you should probably assume there's none or minimal. And that's not making an accusation to any service provider, but unless you know what it is, you have to assume it's nothing. So if you have anything, whether it's a new picture of yourself, a picture of your cat, or, Which would know, be my case. Okay. Lots of pictures of my cat. And videos, I'm sure. Yes. Maybe. Don't okay. judge me. Nude cat videos? Oh, oh hey, there's gosh. a whole market there. Right? <laughs> <laughs> or let's say you had um, proprietary information or trade secrets mm-hmm. about your company. Wherever you place that, you want to make sure that you are aware of the controls and protections that are there. And you have an assurance that they're working and you can validate that. So tell us about your company, which is uh, Barricade Security Systems. And, and how what services do you provide to help? with that measure of security that we need? Well, what we do is we, I've been in this industry for a while and we've looked at information security and cybersecurity and how all those things work. And in many cases, you need someone that's been doing this for a while. You, you get a security software tool installed. Then you need to send someone to training to figure out how it's gonna work. And then once that happens, you get a big log of everything that's going on and you have a screen that you know looks like um, headline news during an attack mm. where there's information going everywhere and you have to figure out what makes sense, what do I pay attention to, and what can I ignore for an hour, what can I ignore forever? Mm-hmm. So what we've done is um, taken, that, uh, taken the approach that there's a whole bunch of stuff you really don't need. You're gonna have logs and you can always go back to look at things if you need them later. But most importantly, what you need to be able to do is what is most imminently going to happen, if anything, to you in the near future? What are you vulnerable to? What attacks look like are coming in and address those. And we put those in front of you in a very simple, easy to read format. And that's done by just installing a small agent on on any server you want protected. We look at the server itself and the traffic going back and forth. And from that, through an artificial intelligence agent, uh, engine we have rather, we can start predicting what sort of things you're vulnerable to, what's very likely happening happening to you, and what steps you should take in order to prevent it. So when should somebody bring you in to help with their internet security? Uh, the sooner the better. And, and the reason I say that, but there is no demarcation point where you shouldn't, where it's too late. Um, if you're standing up a new website, for instance, mm-hmm. that's the best time to do it. It's, it's gonna be lower cost, and it's gonna be easier integration for you. You just install it and you go. 
if later on that you, you didn't install this and you have a website going and you found that you've been compromised or you think something happened you're not sure what it is that's still a good time to bring us in because we'll do the same thing we'll look at the environment you have tell you what vulnerabilities exist what you need to do to fix it and we'll start looking at your traffic to say here's what's going on so i was wondering a lot of times are they hacking the actual like the cloud of the system are they guessing their their passwords uh, you, you know, in, in most intrusions and, and data leaks, there's very little guessing involved. Mm. If it's a matter of hacking a password, it, there's probably a tool they use that can go through a dictionary to say, here's common passwords, or here's all the words, which tells you you should not be using common English words for your password. Or even so so pass, password one, two, three is what I use, so I should stop using that one. Yeah, and even if you went to one, two, three, four, five, which <laughs> is <laughs> more difficult to hack, that's still not a good one. It, it's good to have a combination of some sort of regular characters, uppercase characters, special characters, and a number. And by mixing that all in, you're you're forcing the people using those tools to really work a lot to get your password. And if you change it routinely, they have to start all over again. So that's the first thing to do is make it more difficult. So how frequently should you change a password, do you think? As often as you need to. I change all of mine at least once a quarter. Once a quarter, I, okay. I have some, some more sensitive sites, which most of you probably do, where I do once a month or even more often. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, if somebody wants to get in contact with you, if they need your help, um, what's the best way to get in contact uh, with you? The, the best way is come to our website, which is barricade.io. Which I just learned stands for Indian Ocean. Uh, yes, it does. And he wasn't uh, lying to me. And, well, you think I wasn't I was. <laughs> oh, it's true. I don't know. Oh, my gosh. You All are I did good. Was tell you you are I good at lying. protecting information. Uh, and, and you can also find me directly at jeff at barricade.io. Uh, but if you go to the website, it's very straightforward. And if you have a, if you have a website, you could um, install our agent and have a seven-day free trial and see what you think of it. Awesome. Well, make sure to check him out. You can also call him at 210-802-4459. we got to take a quick break and hear from our show partners in this week's edition of Ask Mr. Credit with Robbie Allen.